I got a Kubi here. It's a KU180H 14C28N and Ultim Scales. Yeah. And I got it at a discount from my man Justin over at White Mountain Knives because it's got a crack scale. So, a couple of things. I am going to try to put some super glue in that crack scale. It's cracked on both sides. So somebody somebody really cranked down on these scales right here. That's my guess. Like you can't you can't you can't oh crack this one too. You can't crank them like you do other things because they will crack. But I think I can super glue them from the inside and that will soak into those cracks and make those solid again. And then I'm going to try dyeing these scales to see if I can get them to die up. Because I was always curious if I could do that. So yeah, I'm going to sacrifice the knife if I can make that happen. Yeah, so... I mean, let's get rid of the packaging. We'll get it apart. And hopefully it doesn't fall apart when we get it apart. And I have no idea what effect super glue is going to have on it. Um, I'm not going to run the action a bunch. Because in the end, it's about these scales, man. You know, can I die them? Will they die? Will, um, will this thing fall apart? Yeah, so that screw was not even tightened at all. So I think the damage was done, and then somebody backed that screw out. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter at this point. I mean, I knew what I was buying. And uh, I'm going to see if I can see if I can resurrect this knife. I like that kind of stuff, you know? Something to work on. Revamping old pieces... Um, and seeing if I can't, see if I can't do something with this piece. I mean, I think I can, I think I can get that glue into that on that side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of this apart because of course, either way, the knife's going to have to get checked in. Um, if I can't do that, I may, you know, if I can't get that to work, I may have to see if I can make scales for it. That might that that might be the other option. Um, I'm gonna need pliers because the stop pin's kind of stuck in there, and I want that out. There's that, and then this barrel spacer. There it goes. And I dropped a barrel spacer. And then I found a barrel spacer. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, I'm go ahead and wipe all this stuff down. I mean, it looks like it's in pretty good shape in here. Everything, everything else on the knife looks to be reasonable. And what I'm going to do is we're going to put all this back in the box. While I mess around with these scales. And. Uh, see if I can't. In effect get the super glue. To go down into those cracks. And solidify these scales. Now there's nothing to make me think that I can. I'm just taking a shot in the dark you know what I mean all right I'm gonna put all these little parts into this bag so I don't misplace them and the clip clips got screws in it yeah I mean this is a cautionary tale man when you're on these Ultim scales, you can't you can't crank down on them like you could G10 or you know some of the other materials because uh, they ain't having it. All right, the two liners, and then we'll put the blade in there as well. 
Oop, left that pivot out. I'm gonna just put it in the box. Okay, so I mean, the upside is they don't appear to be broken. They're just cracked. So that's a good thing. The question is, can I strengthen them with some glue, some super glue? Now, I have some gel super glue, but I think what I need here is I need the liquid kind. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some liquid super glue and see if I can't get it to go down into these cracks. And so when I do that, we'll come back to the video and see if I was able to pull it off. Okay, let's wrap this thing up. Got these scales. I tried to dye them and they kind of took on a different hue. But I, I, it's safe for me to say that 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 orange ultim, yellow to orange ultim, does not take dye. So here's the other thing I did. I did glue all these cracks, um, glued them up really good, and then I sanded them down on the back so that they're smooth. But I glued all that up. Now they look terrible. They look broken, like this one's broken all the way through, but they're sturdy. And so, let's put this knife back together, and we'll put this project back to bed. How about that? Yeah. Um, but I, it does answer the question, because honestly, I was curious. I didn't know if I could dye that, that Ultim um, and make it like a translucent, because, you know, they're translucent. You can see through them. So I was kind of interested to see if I could make them purple translucent. And I cannot. <laughs> yeah, the, the simple answer is no. No, you cannot. Now, like I said, have they changed colors a little bit? Yes. And look at the Kubi logo. It's different. It's changed. I don't know, is that the modern new logo? Have they had a, a refresher? You know, it reminds me of a company I was with one time. They, uh, I mean, we were doing well. Profits were up. You know, the company was, was rolling pretty well. Mm, that doesn't seem to want to fit in that hole now that I've got that glue in there. I may have to file that out because it doesn't want to go in either hole. And that's the lanyard hole. Let's try this side. Yeah, it doesn't want to go in. I didn't even glue. Um, hmm. I got the right knife. Because, man, that don't want to go in that hole either. And I didn't even put any glue on it. Kind of confused. Surely that's got to fit in that hole. Well, all right. Hold on a second. Okay. I mean, I wish I could get a show of hands right now of how many of y'all figured out that they don't actually go into the scale. They go into the liner. <laughs> yeah. And oddly enough, they fit right in there. Goof. I mean, listen. Listen. It's inevitable, right? At least once a video. Now, I do want to go kind of easy tightening these screws because obviously these scales are compromised, so I don't need to overdo it. I just need them snug. You know, the, this ain't going to combat. It's just going to be a nice little utility knife. Maybe a truck knife. Tackle box. Bench knife. Yeah, nice and snug. No worries.
Yeah, buddy. I mean, that's going to be fine. I don't have any concerns about it at all. That uh, I used a water-cured glue and uh, allowed the water to soak in the joint. And then I applied the glue and the glue soaked through the joint. All right, go cage up. I mean, listen, this is the fun stuff for me. I get to tinker with these things and try to bring them to life. And if it failed and I couldn't bring it to life, I don't know. I might have considered seeing if I could get somebody to make some scales for it. You know, I don't know. Or it might have just went in the junk pile, you know. But it doesn't appear like it needs to go there. This might be a, a great little knife for a gift for a youngin, a youngling. There we go. Is it me, or does it appear that I'm missing a screw? Nope, it's right in there. Tried to hide. It's like tried to ride the garbage truck out of the out of the plant. T uh, sixes, I believe. I think I'm going to put a little tension on that while I got it off. I don't think I want to disassemble this piece again, ever, if I don't have to. Like, once it once it's together, I think I want to leave it. So, yeah, let's just put a little tension on the pocket clip. Not a lot. A little dab will do you. All right. And I do like this little knife. It's a little handful. It's, it comes with a couple of different blades. Um, I'm going to put that front one in first, if I can. Yeah. It grabbed a hole. Yeah, it's very comfortable in hand. A couple of different blade shapes. And for being so small... It's actually got a pretty large presence. There we go. Yeah, look at this thing. So nice. Yep. And those scales did take. I mean, they they are much darker than they were before. Yeah, so I've got all the cracks glued up. Nice glue in there. Hold them together. They're not going to come apart. Honestly, I think the scales will break elsewhere before they come apart. I also took some sandpaper because I was sanding the inside and I sand this outside. Because it's kind of one of my complaints about this Ultim is that it's really smooth. Yeah, it's got texture and all that. It's got a lot of milling in it. But it's smooth, so it, it always felt kind of slick to me. So I took some really rough sandpaper, like 80 grit, and I roughed that up. Now, it's still translucent, and to be honest, I, I think if you think about it, you can tell because before I sanded it, it was shiny, and now it's not shiny. Yeah, but it, I can feel the difference in hand. 
wonderful, I can almost just get four fingers back here. Like it's a three and three quarter finger, nice jimping on the spine. So I, you know, as far as grips go, not so confident, confident, very confident. I mean, this thing locks in as a confident grip. It's pretty good. You do have the ability to choke up there. Not a fan of that, but it's there if you want to get up in there. Uh, but this is pretty solid. And the reverse grip on it, money, dude. Yeah, this right here, whoo, that's money. Money, lots of power in that grip right there. This, not so much. Yep, let's check that pocket clip. I think it's going to run superbly. That's a great word, right? Yeah, deep, disappeared, lots of tension. Jean size material back here. Yeah, again, it's like a dryer clip, man. It's wonderful. My spot in the back pocket, really small, low profile. I like it. Very nice. Safety? Any blade contact? Nah, can't touch a blade anywhere. The tip's recessed, so the tip's good, the clip's good, and I'm confident I can handle this any way I want and not make blade contact. Pretty cool. Yep. I mean, as far as the action goes, I don't think I commented. I, you know, I'll call it a B. It takes a shake, but... It's expected on a small knife like this, but it's really good. Nice spidey flick, good thumb flick. I mean, it's wonderful. And it does allow you to kind of get up on this, like, finger guard portion right here and get a full four finger. Really confident. It's wonderful. I wonder if this thing is sharp or if it needs a magic touch. Yeah, this thing don't need me. Ooh. I mean... For my arrogance, I'm just going to have to say, yeah, I need it. Wow, is it sharp. Yeah, like a razor sharp. Wonderful. Yeah, good stuff, man. All right. Hey, listen, I'm going to break down price and availability on this knife. Where are they and how much? I mean, the source is, is White Mountain Knives, 100%. You can't beat their deal on Kubis. I mean, show me where. I don't, if it's out there, I want to know because... That deal's smoking. Let me tell you what this knife is. Okay, there's some D2 versions of this knife that are like $37. Um, when you enter the code uh, KUBI in the coupon section, it brings them down to about 25 bucks. This 14C and the Ultim version uh, is 60, like 60 some dollars. With the KUBI code, it gets you down around 40 bucks. There's also another version that's like 50 some dollars and uh, that gets you, I you know, I think you're around 38 bucks or something on it. So sub 40 bucks on a version of this. This Ultim 14C uh, is going to run you, going to set you back about 40 bucks. Yeah. All right. The I think it's called the Karaji, the Kubi Karaji. Anyways, appreciate y'all watching. Pretty cool.